You know, Ernie had made the, uh, his freshman baseball team, and then he played summer baseball and uh, was working for my dad. And we were at a pool party and kids were chicken fighting and playing and being 16 year old boys and wrestling around and food got ready and Ernie stayed in to play catch with one of his uh, cousins and he just kind of caught a ball and came out of the pool and said my back hurt. Dr. Hess did an x-ray and, and really wasn't anything on there and so he wanted to do an MRI and uh, Ernie still wasn't any better and then uh, Friday uh, Dr. Hess called me and said hey we got an issue. He got the phone call from Dr. Hess which I knew was Dr. Hess when he called and I heard Paul go um, yeah just give me a minute and I'll get into a place where I can talk to you. And so he went outside in our backyard. I looked out our bedroom window and I could see Paul pacing and I knew it wasn't good. I knew something was wrong. But it's uh, myoaxillary epidemioma. So uh, it's a cancerous tumor that grows in the spinal canal. We tried to stay as strong as we could for Ernie, but um, when you hear that there's a mass in his spinal column and on his spinal cord, you kind of realize that this is probably not going to have a great outcome. Uh, we basically went into Children's Friday night at 6 o'clock and then uh, Sunday morning at 7.30 he went in for almost nine hours of spinal cord surgery. You know, the toughest part for him, I think, was coming out of surgery and he had to basically lay flat. Um, you know, that was for, uh, I believe, 72 hours. He had to lay perfectly flat. They set him up in increments, uh, you know, 20 to 25 degrees at a time. You know, finally he set up and, um, you know, he was like, uh, all right, when can I go to the bathroom? And when can I do this? And uh, their plan was to do two or three PT, OT sessions with him, physical therapy, occupational therapy and uh, you know he walked around and they took him to a window and it was kind of on the other end of the floor and uh, he goes where's the stairs when they asked him to go up one flight of stairs and he says i think i can do two more he, there's an overwhelming sense of pride you know we've got like three families we've got our our family and then we've got our 4-h uh, you know uh, 4-h school community family and then we've got the Miami family. You know you know you have friends and you know you're loved and you know you have family but you don't realize how much until um, something like this happens. Our football family has been uh, so good to us uh, from Coach Martin to our sports medicine staff to our support staffs and you guys I mean our Miami family basically fed us for a month uh, you know with a little bit of help from the 4-H family on the weekends and uh, you know just the support but uh, you know the, the video that the football guys did for Ernie uh, even when he was you know he's been so strong through this but you know he was having a bad day it meant a lot he's uh, uh, halfway through now um, he's got three more weeks He was, he was very determined. Um, you know, he said when we left, when we came back from his first physical therapy, he's like, you don't know how to turn the night to get out of here. So, I'm proud of him.